You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back, damn baby Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a wear test with the new Fenty Ease Drop Skin Tint. I've been wearing this for a week, so now I finally have my thoughts. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So if you saw my first impressions, you know, Shade Twins, we are in the shade 20. In the first impressions video, when I put it on, I did one side with my fingers, which I am not a fan, I don't like that. And then the other side with the brush, I mentioned that if you use a sponge, then it would probably soak up a lot of product and it might not, you know, get as much coverage as you want. I stand corrected. So I've been playing with this and this is why it is important to do wear tests and not just roll off of first impressions because I have found that using a sponge has been the best. And let me get a new one because this is clearly dirty. So if you follow me, you know that I am not a fan of beauty blenders, not because there's anything wrong with them as far as how they blend, but just simply because, you know, I just worry about the sanitation of it all. <laughs> I just feel like I have a hard time getting it clean. So I use cosmetic sponges, the wedges, but I get very specific ones. I get them from Ulta, it's the Ulta brand, and you wanna get the jumbo ones, okay? Not the small ones that are just kind of like, not squishy and I just feel like a big old ball of latex. You want the jumbo ones because the texture of it is just a little bit different. But I have been applying this with the sponge and I absolutely love the finish of it. Of course, you do you. You do what works best for you. If you like your fingers, go off. If you want to use a brush, sponge, beauty blender. But this has been my preferred method. And also on days, when I didn't want to do the most, I would just wear this and set it with powder. I wouldn't even put on any concealer just simply because I like how it evened out my whole complexion. Which is nice because it's just, you know, one less product to put on. Now, of course, if you're using a sponge, you might have to go in with a little bit more product if you want more coverage, just simply because, you know, that's the nature of a sponge. It's going to soak up product. However, like I stated, I prefer the way that the sponge applies it versus fingers or a brush. All right, so this is what my face is looking like absolutely loving i have been digging through products because i want to use some things that i have and urban decay stay naked is going to be the concealer of my choice i'm actually almost done with this one i absolutely love this concealer this was one of my favorite concealers i'm thinking of doing a video of just breakdown well videos of different breakdowns and doing my current top bronzers, current top foundations, concealers. I think that would be, you know, just a fun series to have. And I did not forget about my palette challenge either. I've got a video already filmed, ready to go. That'll be up soon, if not already. And I am in the shade 70 and Y. And this is very different from the Rare Beauty concealer that I love just simply because I feel like this one is a little bit more mattifying than the Rare Beauty. So I know someone will probably ask me, oh, well, which is better? It's not a matter of which is better. It's just going to be what finish do you prefer? All right, so now I'm going to go ahead, set my entire face with the Tatcha powder, which is bomb.com. Not sure if this video is already up, but if so, I will link it below and I'm going to set up under my eyes. I'm going to set the rest of my face in here. I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of make sure everything is dispersed on the face. So now we're gonna go in with the bronzer here in Thick Mint, which is so fascinating to me because 
I just thought this was going to be so much deeper, which makes me question. Like, I consider myself, you know, deep skin. Obviously, I know there are other people that have skin darker than me, but I wonder, like, I need to see this on a complexion like Lori, because Lori, she is deeper than I am. And so I just want to know, is this deep enough, I guess? I'll have to look at some other reviews. I haven't looked at any reviews for this, just simply because I like to form my other, my own opinion when I know it's going to be a product that I want to utilize myself. Alrighty, so this is what the skin is looking like. I'm going to go ahead, something on my eyelash. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll show you what we're looking like. Then we're heading to work. All right, good people. So I am back. I have on no blush. The only face products are the Fenty Skin Tint and the Thick Mint Bronzer. On eyes, like I said, trying to really utilize using some of my older products here. Natasha Denona Sunrise. This palette is a beauty. Look at her, look at her. So all I have on is this shade right here all over the lid and then I put a little bit of clove. That's it simple 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 and then for lips because I'm gonna have to wipe it off anyway I threw on some NYX butter gloss in shade bit of honey this is stunning put on the lash and boom looks like I did the most but I really didn't so this is what the face is currently looking like it is 1102 my first client is at noon I will pop in I will remember I will remember to pop in and show you what the face is looking like it is currently 70 degrees, raining, and humid. This is gonna be fun. All right, you guys, so I'm at work. I'm so mad, I forgot my camera. I put it right there on my vanity and told myself, don't forget the camera when you walk out the door. I forgot the camera, but this is what we are looking like. All things are well so far. All right, you guys, so we are halfway through my day now, rolling into hour four. I've had two clients already. I've had a mask on. Hour four and five, that's when things, if they're going to turn, that's when they do. But looking at it, it still looks good. My skin doesn't look oily. It just looks very healthy. I am just, I'm impressed because most skin tints or tinted moisturizers, they tend to be more so on the hydrating dewy. This is not that, so I think it is safe to say that this is 100% oily, girl friendly. So I've got one more client coming in. I've got a color and then after that, I'll show you guys what I am looking like. So, so good. All right, you guys, so it is 4.30. I am done working, about to go get these nails done because it's terrible, but this is what the face is looking like. I am not mad at this at all. So I am going to get my nails done, go home, rest day, no gym today because your girl is, we're sore. We're very sore. But um, when I get home, I will give you guys my closing thoughts on how I feel about the skin tint. So y'all almost didn't get a closing final thoughts because your girl is tired. It is currently 7.30. I just walked in the door not even 20 minutes ago, came in, took my clothes off, lashes off, turned the shower on, and then I was like, oh shoot. I gotta show them what my face is looking like. So here we are. This is what the face is looking like. I have been in a mask all throughout work today. I have not done any blotting today. And the weird thing is, normally, I always at some point feel like, woo, we're greasy, I need to blot. That didn't happen with this. So I'm very, very pleased and just excited that this is a product that works because I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw it, I was skeptical. I was like, eh, whatever, pass. And then a lot of you kept asking me about it and I was like, well, let me just go back and see. And I said, you know what? Let me give it a try, let me and see. I am so glad I did. So who is this product for? I think it's gonna be best suited for combo and oily skin types. I do feel like if you do have dry skin, you can wear this, of course, make sure skin prep's on point and you probably don't need to set it. If you are a full coverage girl, this is not for you. My favorite thing about this is just in the time that we're living in, like a full face is just not happening, right? And I'm just really into just 
embracing my skin and just, you know, I want everything to look nice and even complexion, but you know, I don't have to have a full long shebang bang every time I do my face, okay? This is great for going to work. This is great for running errands. I've worked out in this and I just really like how it looks. It doesn't get cakey. I thought also that it would break up on me and it didn't break up on me. So I'm very, very, very happy about that. Um, as far as setting powders, today I did it with the Tatcha. I like it this way and I've also used it with the Laura Mercier as well. I'm comfortable using either or. Of course, just use your preference, whichever one you want. If you are more so probably on the combo or definitely if you're on the drier side, probably go with this. But the Laura Mercier, like on a long, long day when I have like a day when I'm working from like 12 to 8.30, I would definitely go with this just simply because this is just a little bit more potent, okay? But all in all, this is great. I love this. I am going to be using this a lot. In fact, I think this is just gonna be my summer foundation, praying that things open up and life can get back to normal. We can travel and do things, but this is definitely gonna be my go-to foundation. Well, it's not even a foundation. My go-to face product because it's just bomb, y'all, all right? Side note. For the Keep It Simple girls, this skin tint is the epitome of the aesthetic that we like, okay? What's up, you guys? Really quick, I just realized I forgot to touch bases on the bronzer, so I do have it on right now. Hopefully, you can see I don't have my studio lighting on. This is just all natural light. I do like the bronzer. Of course, we all have bronzers. There are plenty. Me personally, I don't need any more bronzers. So is this a bronzer that I'm gonna run out and tell you, oh, you need go get? No, just simply because I like it, but I do feel like me personally, I have some that are better than this. Now, is there anything wrong with it? Absolutely not. I like that it's not too warm. I like that it is deep enough. You know, it gets the job done. Like I said, not terrible. However, we have so many other ones and I can think of a handful that I do like better than this one. So this isn't something that I feel like you need to run out and go grab. However, if you do try it, you will enjoy it. So just wanted to touch base on that. Oh, and then also the other thing too with the Fenty Skin Tint, the whole blurring claim that it has. Now, I like it, I think it's beautiful, I am gonna be wearing it, but as far as blurring, I don't know that I notice any blurring. I thoroughly enjoy the way that it evens out my complexion. Blurring, eh, I think they missed a mark there, but as far as just making your skin look nice, it definitely does that. So that is going to wrap up my thoughts in the wear test on the new Fenty Skin Tint. Of course, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Tell me your skin type and tell me how it work on your skin, all right? I love and appreciate y'all so, so much. Again, if you have not already, I applied for the Sephora Squad. So if you don't mind leaving me a testimonial, that just helps me out so much. The last day for testimonials are April 6th. So if you could do that for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you have done so already, thank you. Thank you so much. Keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.